you first is just the theoretical knowledge that you have to keep in mind. Uh, just uh, say it will be important if you are writing, uh, as I told you, if you are writing any exam or if you are in the interview, then these things will be answered. So you just have to know the concept. Now, what is uh, identifiers in Java? Now, identifiers are nothing but it is uh, just a uh, name in Java. It is a name that is given to a uh, given when I mean, you are like uh, giving the name of a class then method and uh, variable names, just a name, uh, identifiers are called names in the Java, naming convention, uh, names in Java, every name in Java is called identifiers, just remember that every name is like class name, method name, object name, uh, I mean, uh, variable name, all those are the Java identifiers. Now for your information, uh, these, uh, now we have uh, talked about these the keywords in Java, we have 50 keywords and including these three constants, we have 53 uh, Java reserve uh, keywords. So therefore, these 53 keywords uh, that we have uh, discussed earlier uh, is not, uh, cannot be used as this, uh, uh, cannot be used as uh, identifiers. This is just for information. Now, uh, the, the rules for declaring the identifiers is that uh, it should have uh, uppercase, uh, uh, it should, it can have uppercase, lowercase character, then number, underscore, dollar sign, and dollar sign, but it should not start with a number. I will show you examples for this. Uh, Java identifiers are case sensitive. Uh, yeah, Java is, Java programming is a case sensitive programming language. So, uh, capital and small letter have a different meaning to the compiler. Yeah. And these identifiers uh, must be unique. So if you are declaring class test, and if you are declaring another class test, then the compiler will give an error. So you, therefore identifiers should be unique. So if you are declaring class uh, test, uh, there should not be duplicate, duplication of the class test. And uh, it is possible to use uh, predefined class names, uh, interface name, and identifiers. We have a predefined uh, class name like uh, string. And we can use this uh, string and interface name, the predefined, which is present in Java to lane package like string class. Uh, we can use this as an identifier in Java, but uh, we are not uh, recommended because we will uh, have uh, difficulty in reading the code and maintenance will be also like difficulty in. Uh, yes, this is just uh, like uh, conventions for Java programming to like uh, when it comes to Java identifiers. This is just uh, for your information, like uh, predefined class names and interface can be, can be used as identifiers, but it is not recommended. Now, it is not possible to use keywords identifiers, as I have told you, and there is no length limit for the identifiers. Yeah. You can give uh, give the length limit. You can give any length of the variable, but uh, uh, but uh, what I recommend it is a short name for the variable is always uh, good when you are doing the program or uh, when you are explaining or when others are reading your code. So it will be easier for them. So therefore, I recommend you to give the variable name uh, as far as uh, possible. It should be short and understandable and which have a meaning. Uh, now, uh, let me give some of the example regarding these uh, Java identifiers. <clears throat> uh, let's just skip this. Yeah, skip this. Let's do it here. Uh, so, let's uh, see. Uh, if you, uh, so um, uh, this is regarding this uh, identifier. So if you're giving the identifier name, let's say that we have a data type int uh, a, b, c is equal to 10. This is valid in the list. This is perfectly valid. This is valid. So a, b, c means the variable name, the rule says this, identifier rule says that uh, identifiers can be uppercase or small case. It should be have it should uppercase or small small uh, small character. Here we have ABC is valid. So even if we declare int a is equal to like 20, then this is also this is also valid. Like uh, if you are reading int uh, uh, int dollar a b in dollar a is equal to 10 
this is also valid we can use dollar sign now when it comes to int underscore one two and int underscore uh, e one two um, this kind of variables is this it should contain underscore this is also this also this also valid this is also this is also valid so if you're not uh, uh, so just information if you're not understanding right now uh, as i told you i'm going to share my notes now uh, everything is in detail so because of time constraint uh, i'm not able to um, give a, each and every bit of example uh, in this uh, in this training so i'm going to share the note uh, and you just uh, mail me at tashu tashu at the gmail.com so i'm going to share you via the mail or maybe I'll give it to Mr. Tini Jamso. It's also valid then int uh, one e is equal to 10. Int one e equal to 10. So this is not valid. This is in, this in So that means that uh, uh, variable names should not start with a number. So here we are starting with a number, like if you're declaring we should not start with a number if you're declaring int uh, int a hyphen b, yeah, int a hyphen b is equal to 30. So this is also not very big house. It is specific that it should contain uppercase or lowercase. It can contain uppercase or lowercase. It can contain underscore or dollar sign, but it should not contain this hyphen in all other characters. So it will give, compiler will consider all those things and it will check the syntax error in Java. So this is just information this is invalid. Int a dollar sign b. This is also valid. This is also valid. And other things like uh, um, you see uh, int a slash b equal to ten. Yeah, and this kind of thing. This uh, this is also invalid. You should not use uh, other characters other than dollar sign or underscore or number or uppercase or lowercase. So, and uh, the one thing is uh, uh, these identifiers should be unique. Yeah, I just wanted to give an example here. I just wanted to remove this one. Remove this code. It can be near. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Just remove this. So let's say we have a CLA class, um, CLA is class A. Then another we have we have class A. So this is also invalid. In same one Java file, there should not be same identifiers we have given the same identifiers here class a and class a so this should be either like b or something other other names so duplication of the identifiers are not allowed in java so it will the compiler will give an error this is you know, syntax error the compiler will give an error if you are doing like this way now the another thing uh, another thing is this i have told you that java is a case sensitive language right Mm, so if you are uh, declaring uh, variable uh, identifier is a is equal to 10 a is equal to 10 and int a is equal to 20 then this is this is also valid because java is a tail sensitive and compiler will read the small a and uh, uppercase letter a in a different way so this is valid Uh, so just you have to remember these uh, rules. Uh, these are kind of uh, Java conventions, according conventions in Java. So uh, that's all with uh, Java identifiers, and let's uh, move on with another slide here. Now uh, let's uh, talk about the steps to design the first application. Now, 
here uh, I have uh, some points here, selecting, select the editor, write the application, save the application, compilation process, then execution process. Now, what I'm going to tell you is this, uh, we are just, we are beginner in Java, uh, since uh, this uh, training is mainly for Java beginners, I'm just going to give an information or just as a uh, information, I want to tell you that uh, as a beginner, so using uh, like there is there is many editors uh, right uh, like uh, we have Eclipse then other editors uh, I'm from only editor uh, Eclipse so in uh, uh, I, uh, ID like uh, ID if you are using ID like uh, Eclipse then uh, there seventy five percent of the work will be done by the ID and only twenty five percent of the work uh, will be done by the programmer. So therefore, as a beginner, we have to know uh, every bit of what is happening in the backend. So therefore, what I recommend is as a beginner, you always use uh, Edit Plus or uh, Notepad or Notepad Plus Plus. So because uh, uh, you will have, because um, uh, if you're using IDA, so everything will be kept ready there. Uh, ready there, so you just have to write few lines of course, but whereas in this, if you're using like Notepad and Edit Plus and this Notepad Plus Plus, so you will have uh, to write everything uh, from the scratch. So it will help you understand and write the code and remembering of the code will be easier for you. So therefore here I'm using the Edit Plus and I recommend you to install this Edit Plus and do the Java programming in this Edit Plus as a beginner. Selecting, uh, selecting the editor is also important as a beginner in the Java. Now, Select the editor. The process is, uh, I, I know you uh, just select the editor, then you have to, so yeah, we have, uh, let's select the editor. I mean, selecting the editor is this uh, edit plus. So just uh, let me remove this uh, thing. I'm just going to do it from the scratch. Yeah, I've just deleted this uh, test application now. So just select Java. So, so let's see, we, we have nothing here and we are just designing first application. Let's uh, just uh, print hello world example here. And we are going to do the process, uh, what is happening in the backend, uh, how compilation is happening, how execution is happening, every bit of steps, uh, I'm going to show it with the help of this program. Okay, so let's say um, we have, I've shared the uh, screen, right? Uh, let's say we have to choose the editor as the edit, edit plus. So let's uh, now write the application. The second step uh, says that we have to write the application. Now see, let's say uh, we have, uh, see, mm -hmm. let's take a one plus, plus. So let's say uh, plus this, it's just plus this. And public void, public void main. Let's just uh, uh, do this uh, example, just printing of the hello world. This is just a beginner example, it's not a great one. So let's, uh, let's uh, we have uh, done writing the application on this code, Java code. So let's save this. So uh, we are going to save in training.java I and mean, let's give the name is. Uh, before this, I just wanted to give you an information regarding this uh, naming of the Java. Uh, I've talked, I've told you before, and this uh, these things are also in the note. I'm going to share your note if you're not understanding right now. <clears throat> uh, if the class name is as uh, public, 
then uh, when you save your application, you have to give this class name as this Java file as test.java. Now, if you if you are not declaring this class name as public, then you can give any name. But when you are doing the uh, execution, you have to give this class name. So I'm going to do it uh, practically in front of you here. <clears throat> so let's uh, first do with this uh, public. P-U-B-L-I-C public. And the name should be, when you save, the name should be class name. When you, if you are declaring a class name as public, then <clears throat> the and Java file name should be class name dot Java. So let's do test test dot Java. Okay. We have we have saved the application and the application is here. Test dot Java. This is a Java file has been saved here in the training practical. So let's just do it from beginning. Yeah, so, so if you can, uh, if you have a, a environment set up in your computer, I think you can do along with me for this. So I have already, uh, my application is ready here and just simple application, hello world. <clears throat> and I'm just going to navigate to the Java file where I have kept I saved this Java file. Uh, CD, I kept in, no, no, I kept in local txt. You have to do D, then colon. You just hit enter. It will be navigated to uh, drive D. Then you have to go to, I have um, Java training folder there. Just uh, type J and just hit enter. Then if you want to list, you can just um, GIR command in the Windows CMD. And uh, then you can go to CD uh, training, training practicals. Yeah, here we have saved the test.java file. So nothing is there, only one file that is this here list. Only one file here. Uh, test.java file is there. Just we have saved the application. Now we are in the path where we have saved the Java file. So therefore, let's uh, let us uh, compile this uh, program. Now I'm going to uh, briefly explain on what uh, what this compilation and the execution process means now uh, firstly uh, java is always compi compile then exec execute now what is the main job of the compiler is uh, compiler is mainly for checking the syntax first it will check the syntax when you, uh, let's say, JVC, JVC, Java, Java, Java C, TST dot Java. When you uh, fire this uh, command, so what will happen is this compiler, the compiler thing, the Java compiler will just check the syntax, syntax of your application. Syntax of your application is when TX. Mm, just check the syntax error. If there is syntax error, then it will give the uh, it will give the uh, error message. Now, and uh, the job of the compiler is to check the syntax error. And uh, first, it will check the syntax error. If there is no syntax error in your program, then uh, this compiler will convert this uh, test Java file into test test dot class class file. Right now we have not compiled and we don't have this uh, test dot class file here. So uh, as soon as we are firing this Java C test dot Java, then the compilation process will take place. Syntax error will be taking place. Then if there is no syntax error, then a test dot <coughs> class file will be generated. So this is the, these two are the main uh, function of this compiler. So let's compile this, uh, compile our Java file. So the compiler uh, compilation process is Java C. That means Java compiler, we are compiling the Java file, test.java. So when we fire this, 
at this process at this time what is uh, what it is what is trying to do is it will check the syntax error whether there is a syntax uh, whether there whether i have not saved this it's not giving the error because i have not saved this i just wanted to remove this and i just wanted to now i have compiled uh, Java, Java C test to Java. At this time, syntax error will be uh, checking. Then, if there is no syntax error, then this comp what compiler we will do is it will convert this test to Java into a test to class file. See here, if you uh, look into here, we can file. This is just a backup. Uh, it is uh, becoming automatic. And here, as soon as we file this uh, test, uh, Java C dot test. Uh, Java C test dot Java, then compiler will check the syntax, then it will generate this test dot class file. Now, what I'm going to say is this: uh, say is that um, compiler will understand and understand what is here. The compiler will understand, and compiler will be able to read this. Compiler syntax error. It will check the syntax and then I'm repeating because it is important. You have to know this. It will check the syntax and it will convert this uh, test dot Java into test dot test dot class file. Now after compilation is uh, over, uh, then uh, it is time for execution. Exe cu execution. Now what will happen in this execution is that in the time of execution when we now fire the command Java S. Yes. It means that this is. It means that Java means that execute this test. This test means it is a class file which we, uh, that we have generated here. That means test dot class. So this uh, I, uh, what I'm going to say is that uh, that um, uh, this compiler will understand the test dot Java file, whereas JVM will not understand this test test dot Java file. The JVM will only understand this test.class file. Okay. So the, the main function of this uh, uh, execution, execution, what will happen during this execution process is that uh, we have a, the, the main responsibility of this, ex, uh, I mean, execution is uh, done by JVM, Java Virtual Machine. This is inbuilt uh, software that is uh, that comes with the Java package. Now, execution. Now, what JVM does is that the JVM will uh, first load this TST test and uh, test dot class file, which has been generated with the help of this compiler. And the JVM will load this uh, test dot uh, class file into the memory. The first uh, responsibility of JVM is to load this test uh, class file into the memory. Then after loading, what JVM will do is that the JVM will call this main method. We have a main method here. Uh, this public static void main. The JVM will load this uh, test uh, test or class file into the memory. Then after that, the JVM will call this main method. Now JVM is responsible for calling only the main method. We are like, uh, just kidding. Uh, when we, and I mean, uh, JVM, will, JVM is responsible only for calling the main method and it will not call other memory which is outside of this main method. Like if you write uh, void m1, m1, if you write, if you are declaring the method like this, the JVM will not call this m1 method. So what we have to do is we have to call the m1 method here, like if you are doing by an object reference, like m1, tm1. So only then it will be executed. Now JVM is responsible for only executing this main method. So program starts from the main method. Java program starters and starts from this main method. So the main task of the JVM is to load this dot, uh, test dot class file into the memory. Then uh, after loading the uh, dot, uh, test dot class file, then only uh, this JVM will call the main method. And then whatever uh, is there in this main method will be getting, will be executed. So let's just remove this. It will give an error. Uh, let's remove this. We have just a simple problem here. So we have done with the compilation. We have done with the compilation Java C test.java. 
Now we are here to uh, execute. Now execution process is done by the JVM, that is Java Virtual Machine. Now let's execute JVK Java, Java test. Now, when we fire this Java to test, what, what in the process of that, what will take place is it will load uh, the test.class file into the memory, and then it will call this main method and whatever things, uh, whatever statements are there in the uh, main method will be getting executed. So that's all uh, with the program execution and the uh, flow control of what is happening in the background. And I hope uh, you have understood about this uh, flow execution uh, 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 with these steps to design the first application. I've done with uh, selecting, select the editor, then writing the application, save the application, then compilation process. The main responsibility that just you have to remember is this, uh, uh, how the Java program is getting compiled and then it is executed. Now in the compilation, syntax error is checking after syntax error, if there is no syntax error, then uh, test dot any kind of dot Java file uh, will be converted to uh, dot class file. Then after that, there comes an execution process. Uh, and the execution process, when it comes to execution, and when you fire the Java dot any dot, cl uh, dot uh, class name, then uh, JVM will load the class file which has been compiled uh, by the compiler to the memory, then uh, it will call the main method and uh, start the execution, uh, whatever is in the main method. Now that's all with the uh, 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 program and the process of uh, designing the first application. So I just wanted to give you important notes and the conclusion, uh, important notes and the conclusion. So today uh, we have a talk about, uh, uh, talk, uh, like uh, just giving the introduction parts of Java, Java keywords, class elements, Java coding conventions, and um, separators in Java, and all those things. Now, uh, this is uh, I think this is just an overview of what are the things which we, uh, which is required uh, for a Java uh, beginner to uh, go uh, move on with. So before uh, winding up uh, this uh, training, I just wanted to give you one information here. So I told you, uh, if you are saving the, if you are declaring the class name as public, uh, your uh, uh, Java file name should be test Java file. Now, if you are, uh, let's see, let's delete it. Let's delete this. Uh, let's delete everything which is here. So, and let's uh, design one, let's open one file. Let's remove this, no. So let's, uh, let's say this, we have uh, declared a class without the public. Let's say class test, and this class is no, uh, without public. So let's uh, save this application, control S. Uh, let's say uh, let's now if uh, the uh, class is not uh, not given as a public modifier, then you can give any name, like uh, let's give as a, and save it. So here we have a a dot Java class file. Now when you are doing the compile, uh, when you are doing the compilation and the execution, uh, you have to just the same way, but just give a dot java uh, it is executed success uh, it is compiled successfully and java let's uh, execute uh, let's execute java dot we have now when it come when when we are compiling you have to give the give the java class file name i mean what we have saved uh, the, uh, what we have, what we have given the file name we have given is a dot java now when we compile i mean when we do the execution uh, we have given the mm, class name as test so during the execution we have to give the name as test now if you try to uh, give 
and there's java file name then it will give an error could not find or load the main class a yeah, because we have class case this is just for information the another uh, information i'm going to tell you is that uh, let's see we have uh, uh, let's see we have one let's just uh, Let's say we have a class public class public class A. Let's say we have two public classes, public class test and public class A. We have saved the file as A. So let's try to compile. Java A dot. The error message says that test class is public, should be declared in the file name test.java, public class test. And what the error message says is that you know, knowing and understanding this error message is also important when you are developing other uh, big applications like uh, web applications and all those things. You have to always uh, remember to check the error message and you have to fix that error. So here, class test is public. You know, what does it mean is, is that uh, in, in one Java uh, file, there should be only one public, public class. Here, there is two public classes, public class A and public class test. So therefore, uh, it is giving an error. So if we remove this public, there should not be any error. Yeah, there's no error, right? Mm. Yeah, there's the, just the information. So uh, for one Java file, there should not be multiple public class files. There should be, yeah, there can be multiple classes, but there should be only one public class. So in, if you, in, in the project development, uh, you will face this kind of issues and you are trying to uh, declare two public classes in one Java file, then you're, having difficult time in fixing the uh, fixing the bug. So therefore, all those things, these are the basic things and we have to uh, know all those things when you're uh, uh, doing the uh, big projects. Now, if you're doing without this, it's working right. And so therefore this, uh, I think uh, that's all, uh, that's all with uh, today's uh, training. So if you have any questions and the feedbacks, uh, I just wanted to take some questions. If not, uh, if you want my note, I'm going to share as I have told you, just uh, uh, mail me or I'm going to uh, share with uh, uh, Trinity Jamsu, sir. S-U-K, at the rate you income. You can mail me here, I'm going to share my notes. Yeah, that's all uh, with this, uh, with uh, today's training. And if you have any questions, uh, the floor is open for you, Trini Jamsu. Uh, will you initiate uh, the questions? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, if attendees, uh, attendees have any questions, you can send us through a Q&A okay. button, so we will answer you through Q&A. Yeah, if you all have no question, can you please uh, message us indicating that you have no question?
Uh, seems like there is no questions. Yeah, uh, this will be the end of our session then. Uh, okay, uh, thank you viewers uh, for this uh, uh, training and uh, we will meet you until, uh, we will make, uh, meet you uh, in the next uh, training that is lesson 02. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining.